mutually exclusive. Uh, you as an investor and you as someone who wants to invest in the Vietnamese market, but more on the investor side of, uh, of, of someone who looks for opportunities. What do you see are the opportunities out, out of the Vietnamese market um, right now and why we should invest more in this market or why we should have more startups coming out of this, of this Vietnamese market? Yeah. Uh, it is a little bit biased on my end, uh, but I uh, uh, I think that it's not just a subjective view. It's still subjective, but uh, time and time, uh, there's, you know, now uh, Vietnam and the uh, Vietnamese people, I think, have that reputation globally as extremely hardworking, extremely intelligent, uh, and very much, uh, you know, hell bent on 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 growing. Uh, the country into the next superpower in, in Asia and beyond. So you have a population that's vast. I mean, a hundred million people is huge. Um, mm -hmm. And along with a very young and talented population that is quite adept in terms of technology, math, science, that means that the potential for very, very large, mature, profitable companies is quite high. I think that Vietnam may be less than 15 years behind South Korea. So mm -hmm. for investors looking in, look, the, 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 uh, the, the answer, the question is this, you have the opportunity to invest in Samsung, in Panasonic, in LG, in all of these major Korean brands back when they were mm -hmm. just you know, a few guys and girls working out of like a rickety shop somewhere in the street of Seoul, would you do it? Of course, the answer is hell yes, you know? So uh, the, the, uh, it's very clear that Vietnam is very much on that track. And so straight up from the, the economics, the fundamental of investor looking in is highly attractive. Uh, there's a little bit of uncertainty in terms of cultural differences. We don't know if these things are enforceable and whatnot, that people are still on the fence, but that's a good thing because the moment that everyone feels comfortable jumping in because, you know, from legal framework to, to everything else is very clear, then yeah. you have so many funds coming in that the retail investors is hard to compete. Uh, so I do think that this is probably among probably uh, we in the, at the beginning of the most exciting time for investors looking at opportunities to invest in Vietnam uh, as an ecosystem.